Hi friends, I literally have like <clears throat> two minutes to document this right now, but um, I'm starting to vlog again, I suppose. I literally look like booty hole. I'm eating vegan corn dogs and I'm heading to tap in about 10 minutes. So yeah, welcome back to Sarah's vlogging life. It's raining today in New York City. Um, and this is what it's like being a student during a pandemic as a full-time musical theater major. <laughs> Let's do it. I talked about the walk that I have to take from the train to school. It's not that far. It's like a two, two block walk, but still it's excruciating, especially when you're going to a dance class, it gets tiring. Um, I feel like I get there and I don't want to <laughs> dance or even sing in the morning so it's a little ridiculous you know to to get that tired and then have to dance for two and a half hours but you know it's it is what it is here I go crossing a big street um so yeah I I just need to point out that um so yeah becomes a um <laughs> It becomes a thing I say quite frequently in this vlog, so just be aware of that, and that's going to become the quote, I guess. I don't know. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I just, you know, <sighs> it's tiring. It takes a lot out of me to walk two blocks. I usually take the bus um, from uh, Central Park. To school but if I'm feeling the need to power through the day I just walk the two blocks um, it's mostly downhill so it's not a big deal but like you know this is how I start my Mondays my weeks I have school online in the morning and then I have a class in person which is tap and then I just walk and walk and walk until I get to class and I'm not making any sense am I um, but yeah, that's my Mondays. Um, so hopefully I will have a strong day today of dance. So yeah. Okay, hi. I'm usually never this early for class. But usually what I do, I get here and I stretch. And um, yeah, what time is it? It's 2.05. I'm usually never here by now because I live all the way in Brooklyn. But I put my music on and I do a little bit of stretching and just try to warm up for warm up my feet for tap, basically. That's what I do. Um, I might redo my hair if I'm honest. I don't know. But yeah. Um, let's warm up. talk I need to seriously stretch I'm like sweating just some stretching um, I don't know why I stretched my hips today because I didn't really need to because it's tap but um yeah I think I need to do a lot more foot rolls if I'm honest <laughs> and I want to get Starbucks after class but I can't because I'm broke Let's take a nap. Oh, I should tell you guys where I do go to school. I go to AMDA, American Musical and Dramatic Academy. Um, I'm in the conservatory 
integrated program, which is a two-year program. But yeah, basically all I do every day is sing, act, and dance. Who wouldn't want that life? Right? <laughs> um, I suppose this would be a good time for me to ask you guys what you guys want to see throughout the week. Um, there might be different things that I could show you. I don't think I can show you guys any any dances. I can't record any songs or any scenes from classes, but I can maybe talk to you guys about the process of things that I do. Um, I don't know, just let me know in the coming weeks what you guys would like for me to talk about or take you to in New York if there's any specific area that you'd like to see. Um, maybe I'll go to Central Park after school today and we can have a little powwow there and do some chit chat because it's less awkward to talk to a camera in a, pu in a, in a public park <laughs> than it is in a quiet school building. So let me know and I shall grant your wishes. I'm just going to chillax until class for now and I will see you guys on the flip side, like I always say. <laughs> okay. Say hi, guys. Hi, Vlog. Hi, Vlog. What's good? What's good? Daphne, oh. Adriana. Are you starting your YouTube channel? Hey. I've already got one, but yes, I'm just re-vlogging. We are in tappy, tappy, tap. <laughs> For, for musical theater, baby. <laughs> what do you think of that, Peyton? Boy. <laughs> okay, I have finished with my day. I'm going home. I don't get to relax though. I've got quite a bit of homework to do. So um, I'll see y'all on the flip side, like I always say. I think that's gonna be the new thing with this. I better put my fucking hood on because it is raining. I don't wanna to go to Central. I think I think it's not a great idea. Maybe I'll go to Whole Foods. Maybe I'll ask my mom if I can go to Whole Foods. But if I'm honest, I think I'm just gonna go home. Uh, Cause I'm tired, my feet hurt. I have to put my feet up and do some homework. And um, you know, this is a look. Ugh, the life of a musical theater major in New York City. It's amazing. Thank you. So clearly I went to Starbucks because I needed it. <clears throat> um, thanks, Mama. This is the absolute most <clears throat> unfun part of my day having to transfer about three different trains and two buses <laughs> so it's always a fun day for me every morning every evening that's what i gotta do three different trains just to get home it's ridiculous so that's my day in a nutshell I'm not looking at the camera, no. Um, people probably think I'm on crack. Gotta love some good New York subway vibey thingies, I don't know. More than halfway home, I look like a fucking train wreck, if I'm honest. This is the fun part, waiting for the bus that literally never comes. And it's always either every 30 minutes or I get here on time for it to come or I walk home. Today it's raining, so I'm gonna wait for the bus and see what happens. And yeah, this is usually the end of my day. There's nothing really spectacular other than I go to school full time, day by day. So yeah, that's what I've got going on. <sighs> I'm off the bus, I'm walking home. I wish I could just fall down on my bed and relax when I get home, but I can't do that. I've got a lot of work to do. 
a lot of homework, a lot of writing out song charts and doing actions and all that jazz. So I've got a long night ahead of me. I've got a long week ahead of me. I've got a lot to do and a lot to think about. And just, you know, I've got a lot on my schedule. <sighs> it's cold, it's wet, and I don't like it. I'm fucking home. Sheesh, it's caught on my earring. Ah! Hmm. Fit check. Ooh. And not only that, but she's got her bodysuit on underneath. Oh. Why did I have this idea that it would be a great idea to start vlogging again? <sighs> Help. Does my hand look like a gremlin? Every time I hold a fucking phone, it looks like the fucking Stranger Things monster. Like, you know what? You know, uh, what the fuck's her name? That Nicole girl that, oh, what it do, what the fuck? She's like, that's what my hand looks like. <laughs> Y'all, I think I need Xanax, a nap, and a bath. But no, I've got homework. Fuck. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm in a studio. I'm at a studio. Well, studio room rather um at school for my voice lesson um but there's a piano i haven't touched a piano in a long time i mean i did kind of sort of um, i've been touching this piano the past few weeks but um i haven't really like sat down and played anything very much so i've got like 20 seconds before i have to get on to my voice lesson so but I've been working on a couple songs, and this is just one of them, so far. I want you to know what it's like on the other side of life. I want you to find the light in between the lines of It's all finished, but I'm not gonna share too much of it. Um, I feel like Carrie Bradshaw today. Okay, I've gotta go do some more sing song and um, musical theater stuff. <laughs> this is my acting teacher, Jasmine. Hello, hello, everyone. She's amazing. Oh, I try, I try. I just create other future acting kings and queens. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> I cut you off yesterday when you were when I, I did my tap dance and you were like oi and then you said something else. Oi. That's all? Yep. Jacqueline. Lila. 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 Uh, okay, time to take five different transportations home. Oh my God. Ugh, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely insane. I take a bus, then three trains. And then the bus from Central Park. Where the fuck are you? Greenpoint in Brooklyn. So I have to take the G to the E to the B. And I have to take a bus to the G. Mm. Yeah.
There, well, there's a city bike nearby, but I don't trust myself on the Brooklyn Bridge. Ooh, right, right, right. Eat, 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 eat. <laughs> Hello, and thank you for joining us today on our cooking channel. So far, these are the ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine's uh, still outside. <laughs> Honestly, I'm liking the experiment of having my favorite cats in the house and my least favorite cat. Mm -hmm. I not thought you just stepped house. on them. I did. <laughs> Nothing will ever traumatize me more than the day um, that I tapped on Tom's tail. Yeah, not good. Poor Baba. I felt so bad. Um, how many ta how many tablespoons are in a cup? <laughs> that many. <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, I guess you can go out because I trust you, but I need your sister to come home. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just we... feeling really defeated as a cat mom because it seems as though no matter what I do or say, I get back talk. Um, okay. It's the Rachel and Monica baking series. Who's Rachel and who's Monica? That's the proverbial I question. Think we, take turns. we definitely take turns. No, that's what Sex in the City. Um, we take turns between Carrie and Charlotte, but she's also Samantha. How many tablespoons? Plus, like, this much more. Because this is a quarter, and we need a third. A third. That's a quarter. So if this is a quarter, and we need a third of a cup. This is a so quarter we need, of a cup. So we need that, plus, plus a, little a little bit more. more. Exactly. No, what I'm saying, we need, we so we need that one, but then we also need that same length and another one, plus a little bit more. So we need no. two... No, two of these would make a half of a cup. Right. We don't need a half of a cup. We need a third of a cup. Which is less than half. Uh, a third of a cup is less than half of a cup. And how many tablespoons are in a, a cup? cup? 16. And this is four. So this is one fourth of a cup. This is 25% right. of a cup. So, but we need and we need like 33% of a cup. So we need like 7% more. We love an experimental queen. I'm just afraid of fire. <laughs> One time I left something in the microwave for 16 minutes. Rachel. And, like I was like casually talking and he was like, you know the microwave's been on for like 18 minutes now, right? And I was like, what did you put in the microwave? It was leftover dominoes. Was it smoking? Yes. <laughs> Very much. We're gonna pretend like we know what 7% more is. Ooh, butter makes a great moisturizer. I'm dead. It actually really does. I'm not kidding. Oh, and it doesn't feel greasy. It it's doesn't. Not, it's not like Hannah Montana with the ketchup hands. Yeah. Oh, I love that episode. <laughs> we get the best of both worlds. Woo! You can never have too much butter. That's true. Okay. Except you're a diabetic, my friend, so. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> All right, we're going to crack the eggs. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, five star. <laughs> the next egg. The next egg. Oh. You didn't see that? Oh, that one was marvelous. Spectacular. Spaghetti? What the fuck is wrong with me? I think you're I think you're having a manic episode. Funfetti. Why are we never manic at the same time? You know, you could be manic baking right now though, if I'm honest. Because you're like, let's make a cake. We just fucking put on friends. Right. I, well I think it's because <laughs> you got on the phone. I was like, okay, we'll just watch friends and eat her. We may have to take a small break so I can take a wee poo. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the vlog. A sick bang. A sick, thick bang. A sick, thick bang. <laughs> you are out of control. <sighs>
should come for you. <laughs> and what would you tell them? I would tell them. <laughs> Outfit for the day? If I'm honest, I think I might lose the beret, but um, I think other than that, this is a Carrie Bradshaw quality outfit. Maybe the tights are a bit much. I don't know. Be a vlogger, they said. It'll be fun, they said. That's all lies. Um, anyways, good afternoon, everybody. It's Friday. It is a sort of performance day today at school. It's like a dress rehearsal for our midterm next week. Our midterm, however, does not happen in person, unfortunately. It's on Zoom. So that's going to be fun. I hate Zoom land. I haven't vlogged much of this week other than the beginning of this week. As you all saw, most of my classmates said hello. I thought I was going to be able to go to school. Looking like trash today because we've already had a sort of performance dress rehearsal day which was on wednesday in person but then i go on to canvas to check what we're doing today and it says a dress rehearsal so i'm not complaining but i just wanted one day of the week where i could just feel like shit, if you know what i mean um because i haven't had very many of those I've been on the go the last couple of weeks and yesterday I actually yesterday I had a pretty rough day um, it was Thursday I had an asthma attack in the middle of dance class and I had to sit out for a bit and my lovely teacher gave me a banana and I was so thankful for her but then I <laughs> Decided I was gonna get some Starbucks on the way to my second class, which is not in the same building It's right up the street to my uh, my acting class So I decided to get you know a small coffee and and a sandwich and it was pouring rain and so by the time I got to the The front of the place. I was trying to close my umbrella <laughs> okay so my coffee was on the stoop and my umbrella was also on the stoop i was trying to shove it down i was like really pissed off and so my umbrella decided to open up again and say nope sorry and knocked my full coffee all over the sidewalk and i had to take a moment as one should because i haven't given myself very many moments to just burst into tears so i did so that was a fun day and then i sat out of jazz class yesterday and watched and took notes because i just did not trust myself to dance yesterday because i did not feel safe dancing i didn't feel like like i was going to be okay i thought i might might pass out if i if i danced because i had just come up from the stairs and my lungs weren't feeling great. Um, I'm fine, just so everyone knows. That was my day yesterday. And so hopefully today will be a bit of a better one. I got a lot of sleep last night, passed out as soon as I got home, which was lovely for me, but then I woke up at like 12.30 and I didn't go back to bed until like 2.30, which Again, isn't horrendous. I still woke up at 6 this morning from for my 8 a.m. class, which was good, but I didn't shower because I wanted to just stay in bed and watch TV. So yeah, so my day is going pretty, pretty good so far. I napped after class this morning, and now I'm getting ready to go to school, and I hope that I'm keeping track of time. Oh my god, it's snowing in Rhode Island. That is... Crazy.
here comes the fun part. <clears throat> the fun part where I have to do my makeup. So, oh, the song that I'm singing in class is Cry Me a River. Oh, you say you're sorry for being so untrue. Well, you can cry me a river. Cry me a river. I cried a river over you. So that's what I'm working on. That's going to be for my midterm next week on Zoom. my makeup I've already talked to this camera for about 18 minutes hi everyone well I just got home I haven't showered yet I almost flashed everyone I've got a million things to put away because I can never pick a fucking good outfit in the morning before I go to school and so that's fun so that's what I'm doing right now and then I'm gonna shower and do my night routine and all that goody jazz stuff. I have to brag for a minute, a humble, humble brag. Um, I've been doing really, really good in school recently um, with my performances. The only note that my teacher has been giving me is that I need to write down in my notes that I've been doing a good job. There's nothing more thrilling than hearing that from a teacher. Guys, I have like a million hangers that aren't being used and they're all for my roommate. Um, so I'm gonna try and hang some stuff up and look at this, I've got a whole bunch of sh shit over here. My life is a fucking mess at home, but it's fine. Anyways, so my teacher is very impressed with my progress lately and just to, you know, finally be getting it at school because it's really tough. It's not easy work and people think that musical theater is just you sing and dance and act all day and then come home and do nothing. No, there's work that you put in for certain things and I am very proud of myself for how far I've come since first semester, which was almost, not, not quite, but almost a year ago at this point. So I've gotten quite a lot, I've, I've got, I've learned quite a lot in the last months at school. I don't know if most of you know this, but I took a break. I took a leave of absence halfway through my first try at second semester because I needed it, my mental health needed it. And it was the best decision I've ever made in my entire life because I'm a changed person now because of it. I'm not focused on the stupid, nitpicky, boring shit. Um, that you know you really shouldn't care about i mean of course like you know there's still insecurities there's still a whole bunch of stuff going on but it's more positive stress than it is negative stress at this point in my life and i think that i've i've grown so much in how to cope and, and deal with you know negative stress and turn it into good stress vlogging helps me de-stress very well and cleaning actually wait things in my room that I don't need but that I f find use of surprisingly anyways so that's how I've been spending my time it's just you know going through life taking it day at a time I've been getting not the, I don't want to say the praise that I deserve because that kind of sounds narcissistic but I but praise that praise that I should be getting for the work I have been doing and normally I wouldn't notice that I'm doing good or as good as I have been doing because uh, I I've always thought that you know I'm, I'm 
never good enough at, at, at doing theater. There's always someone ahead of me who's going to be able to belt that note cleaner than me or dance that, that choreography better than me. But I've learned that everyone goes at their own pace and everyone um, learns at their own, you know, has their own process of learning, so to speak. I did not button that correctly, but I don't care. That's what I've been discovering is how to, you know, just focus on what I need and, and how I need to learn, not where I need to get so much. I mean, of course, like where I need to go obviously helps in certain aspects. Um, like setting goals for yourself, like in dance, my goal right now is to fix my hip alignment. And that's the one thing I've been working on is, is just focusing on staying square with my body for dance. I've been focusing more on like, you know, things as they come up, not, not like what's the long-term goal, um, which I think for me is the best way for me to be learning right now. And I personally believe that we... We'll all get to where we want to end up bigger picture wise if we just focus on smelling the roses a little more, <laughs> in my opinion. That's how I would say it. Tomorrow I believe that I'm working, which is a good thing for me because that means I'm going to start making money again, honey, and your girl needs it. Lord. Bless my mom's little heart. She's been paying for everything for me. Um, she is the goddess of my life. So thank you, mom. But I just need to start being more financially independent again, which I was last month, which was exciting for me. It was a new experience for me. I paid my rent last month, which was exciting because I've never ever paid my own rent before. And uh, to have that not be on my mom for a hot second was very rewarding to me. And the funny thing is, when I started working and got my first paycheck, I had no desire to spend that money on myself uh, unless I needed to. So I, I really had, I mean, of course, it's all gone now because I needed to get things, but I had no desire to, to just bankrupt myself because I knew that that money was money that I needed for, you know, living purposes. Why do I button these Okay, that one I did right. That was just something that I was not really, I mean, it kind of shocked me that I didn't want to just do a spending splurge when we got the second stimulus check and, and everything. It felt very weird to me to want to see that money stay in my bank account. So I, I guess, I guess it was the fact that like, I was aware that I, I needed to, you know, pay my rent and do things for myself. What also felt good was giving my sister money for her birthday. I gave her a hundred dollars because she has always like lent me money when she could. I think I'm rambling. <laughs> I just think it felt good to, you know, be humble with my money and, and, and be giving and generous and, and not spend it on myself. So that's, that was a great feeling for me. Yeah. So I'm almost done doing this. So I'm going to shut the camera off and then I'll come back when I'm out of the shower. I'm not gonna wash my hair because I already washed it today, this morning, but maybe I'll put in some more. Actually, fuck, I have to wash my hair because I put hairspray in it. Damn it. Okay, I'll be back. I look fucking scary. Ugh, I just got out of the shower. I need to find something to do with my life. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really know what else is going to be going on for this week, but I think that's pretty much the lowdown of everything that's happened this week. I'm not going to do my full skincare tonight because usually what I do is right after I tone, uh, I do this micro peeling mask, which is amazing. But I'm not going to do it tonight because I don't have the patience to wait for like 15 minutes. What I am going to do tonight though is whiten my teeth. Because your girl teeth is looking a little ratchy lately. For my skincare, I just mainly use CeraVe products. I use the CeraVe Hydrolonic Acid Serum, which is amazing for your skin, for your T-zone. So like, which is right under your eyes, 
here your forehead a little bit your nose the bridge of your nose under your eyes and your chinny chin chin so i'm running out of this unfortunately i do use the cerave is this cerave or cerave cerave moisturizing lotion ew there's crusty shit get off me thank you i use about that much or if i'm feeling pretty yucky i'll use some more but that's about what i use and i just put it all over my face my lips and my eyebrows that's basically my skincare and then if i have pimples and i think i might need to spot treat a few of them tonight if i'm honest anyway so my last step is moisturizing my lips this came from Ipsy a few months back. Time pressed lip balm, right? Complex culture. I always use the Mario Badescu drying lotion for my pimples because I think it's absolutely amazing. That's my last step of the day for skincare. Good lord, I have a lot of fucking pimples on my face today. She cute or whatever. That's about it. Oh, my hair. So I've got my bangs clipped back right now, but what I usually do with my hair, because it's a bit of a bitch lately, I did get it repermed over Easter weekend. So my hair is a little bit wet right now, but I do need to put leave-in conditioner in. So that's what I do. I just toss this in her and she'll come out oh so i have to put leave-in conditioner in my hair all the time which i love i love my bouncy curls well they're not as bouncy this time but it's more it's got more volume this time because i decided to get it done but this is what i do with my hair at the end of the day i get my trusty t-shirt um, I got it from Shein because it said Euphoria on it. Okay, so I, I know this looks bad, but it's because of my hair. I have to put it like this because of my curly hair. Anyways, um, as I was saying before my camera died, I have to put my hair like this because of my curls, like I just said. And a t-shirt, I have to wrap it in a t-shirt or like some silky kind of scarf for a little bit to let it dry. And then when I, when I go to bed, I probably should be putting it in a uh, shower cap more often to go to bed. But this is what I usually do to pass the time, get things done. So this is how I look at... Who's texting me? Anyways, um, this is how I look at the end of the day. Yeah. Oh, would you like to come say hello? Come here. Come here. Hang on. Say hello, George. That was very rude. We did not need to, the world did not need to see your butthole, George. So thank you for that. <laughs> Hi, baby. Come here. He's the sweetest boy. I look crazy. I want to go let my hair dry, do some dishes, and then I will possibly be back later. If not, it was nice knowing y'all. Bye. Hi, friends. This is the moment in time that I realized that I forgot to upload some of my homework that's due tonight in literally <laughs> an hour. <laughs> Whoopsies! I'm watching The Crown. Uh, I did the dishes and I'm just winding down because it's Friday. I've got to upload a whole. Oh, fucking shit. We love it. We love to see it. I have to upload a lot of paperwork. I've got to go back to my song chart and finish my particularizations. Ooh. 
And I finally told my mom that our relationship while living together was toxic. <laughs> you drove me, nearly drove me out of my head. That's my particularization for that line. Now I gotta do while you never shed a tear. Um, I'm accusing this person saying this. That sounds so cynic cynical or so evil. My most recent ex. I sound like a <laughs> like a player when I'm not. Anyways, because I talk about quite a few exes in this. Okay, this is the boring part where I just have to fill in all this information and then do the dossier and upload that. And I look like a train wreck. <laughs> Okay, it is freezing. My window's open, so that would be a good explanation as to why my room is cold. Told me you were through with me, and now you say you love me. <laughs> I guess this wraps up the vlog. But yeah, thanks for coming along the ride of this week. I shall see you next week. Yeah, okay. I'm going to try to be more creative with it. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Peace. Hey, uh, so I had no intention of making this first vlog over 40 minutes, but here we are. I just finished editing. It is now 4.17 in the morning. Thank God it's Friday because I don't have to wake up early today. So I'm good. I do have to work at 3.30, but I can get a few hours of sleep in right now. But I am exhausted. Being a YouTuber is no joke. But also, I'm adding this on top of being a full-time musical theater student who works as well. <laughs> So that's going to be quite a bit of a challenge for me, but I think adding this into my routine will also spice up my days, and I, I don't know, you know, just, um, shia, but thanks for watching. Someone would like to say hello and goodbye to the vlog. Can you say goodbye, Georgie? Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye. anything without getting cat hair in my mouth. <sighs> Good night.